I think Optimus will ultimately be the most valuable part, and I think it has a good chance of being the most valuable product ever made. You also need to be very good at scale manufacturing. So in order to have the robot not cost like hundreds of thousands of dollars, in order to make it cost like you know, ten or twenty thousand dollars. What if the world's most valuable product ends up being a ten thousand dollar robot? Elon Musk just dropped a bombshell. Tesla Optimus, the humanoid robot that can walk, work, and even learn on its own, might cost as little as ten thousand dollars by 2026. That's less than most iPhones over a few years of use. And it's not just for show. Optimus has already proven it can operate autonomously in extreme conditions, including disaster zones and epidemic areas, and is the key role to expected to play in helping the company roll out millions of Tesla Cybercab from Giga Texas. So what upgrades made this possible? Does it really make sense that a $10,000 robot could handle everything, from household chores to factory work and even dangerous rescue missions? Welcome to Tesla Car World. So, what can and can't the Tesla Bot Gen 3 do? You've seen the slick demo reels, Optimus gliding across a factory floor, folding a t-shirt, catching a tennis ball with casual confidence. Yes, but will it actually solve our problem? Gen 3 is Tesla's attempt to turn that anxious maybe into a hard yes, and the only honest way to understand why it matters is to anchor the specs to the pain. Firstly is mobility. The staircase problem. For anyone who's ever juggled a laundry basket and an aging hip on a steep staircase, the idea that Optimus still hesitates on the way down feels like a deal breaker. Gen 2 tops out at 5 km per hour on flat concrete and can hop up a curb, but it flinches when gravity pulls the other way. Gen 3 rewires the ankle geometry, adds a dedicated descent control loop, and, here's the win, streams inertial measurement unit data to a predictive balance model every four milliseconds. The result is a robot that doesn't shuffle. It flows, treating each riser like a measured dance move. By the third quarter, 2025, the update rolls out across every bot, erasing the fear of a 200-pound paperweight marooned on the upstairs landing. Nothing triggers visceral dread faster than imagining a humanoid robot gripping a chef's knife next to your grandmother. Today's hand, 11 degrees of freedom, 5 Newton fingertip force sensing, can pick up a box but can't feel the slip of a wet tomato skin. Gen 3 doubles the joints, triples the tactile resolution, and layers in temperature and soft collision sensing. The pain point here isn't raw capability, it's trust. When a bot rinses lettuce, the stakes are bacterial, not cinematic. Silicon fingertips that sense a one-degree change in water warmth or register the give of bruised fruit translate directly into peace of mind and, finally, into permission to let the machine anywhere near a cutting board. And, if you're caring for an octogenarian parent, Tesla's timeline feels glacial. Pilot programs in 2026, commercial units in 2027. But there's a method behind the delay. Elder care isn't about a gimmick, it's about liability. The robot must traverse slick bathroom tile, recognize a stumble in real time, and call for help before a fractured hip turns fatal. Gen 3's IP54 ceiling keeps the circuits alive through steam and soap spray. Its new fall detection net reads micro-accelerations in both human and robot torsos, deciding in 200 milliseconds whether to brace, lift, or summon emergency medical technicians. If that sounds like overkill, remember the pain being solved. 24-hour vigilance is impossible for a single human caregiver, but it's table stakes for a robot that claims to protect and care. 15 to 20 grand is either a bargain or an insult depending on your bank account. Tesla tries to soften the blow with a $499 monthly lease, service included, and a $1,200 battery swap every four years. Yet, the real migraine is volatility. A bureaucrat in Beijing can stall rare earth exports. Overnight, the price jumps 15% and your break-even math explodes. Gen 3 hedges with a ferret magnet fallback. Heavier, yes, but sourced in North America. That move doesn't just stabilize the bill. It turns a geopolitical headache into a logistics footnote. And for CFOs counting pennies per pallet move, 
the difference is existential. Sounds good. Still, nightmares of a hacked nanny bot linger. Gen 3's trusted platform. Module-backed firmware chain rejects any unsigned updates. Its sentry mode locks joints, fires an 80 decibel screech, and live streams GPS if the bot gets lifted into a van. The aluminium frame doubles as a Faraday cage, muting ordinary common electromagnetic pulse spikes, though no one pretends it will shrug off a battlefield pulse. Perfect? Number but the delta, from no protections to a layered hardware-rooted security stack, cuts the risk curve so sharply that most home insurers have already penciled in a $20 monthly rider. Out there, suburban lawns and Midwest barns don't care about Silicon Valley launch parties. They care about dust, drizzle, and a January wind chill that makes lithium cells whimper. Gen 3's IP54 skin copes with light rain, its self-heating pack survives minus 10 degrees Celsius, and the 2027 terrain kit adds rubberized boots that shrug off goat paddocks. But the real pain is service coverage in rural areas. Some counties rarely see a Tesla technician. Tesla's new plan is simple. A service van will visit every two months and each car can connect through a small Starlink dish so mechanics can check problems from afar. It isn't perfect, but it's a big step up from having to haul your Optimus all the way to Fremont for repairs. On the other side, skeptical, researchers say humanoids will erase 5% of repetitive manual jobs and spawn 3 million roles you've never heard of. Recall that App Developer was fringe in 2007. Pain lies in the transition, not the endpoint. Tesla pledges free retraining for any warehouse worker displaced by its own bots. Self-interest dressed as altruism, sure, but still a lifeline. Gen 3 accelerates the trend, because it's the first variant that can both stack crates and thread a wire harness. Whole job categories shift from sweat to supervision, and whether that thrills or terrifies you probably depends on how close you are to retirement. So, why is the Tesla bot Gen 3 so different? The answer is simple, real-world utility at scale. While most robots today are either clunky prototypes or research experiments trapped in labs, Tesla's Optimus is being trained, not coded, to perform real tasks that make a tangible difference in both homes and factories. Got a, it's, got the, it's got the real-world AI, so Tesla's the, the leader in real-world AI. Um, what we learned in the car, we translate to, to the Optimus robot. Um, and we also trans take the, our expertise in electric motors, in batteries, power electronics, uh, structural design. And then another major important thing is that we're very good at manufacturing. Tesla isn't building a humanoid robot from scratch like everyone else. Instead, the company is reusing and adapting decades of experience in electric motors, structural engineering, and large-scale automation from its electric vehicle division. This gives Tesla an undeniable edge, faster development, lower costs, and greater scalability. The result is a robot that's already capable of handling a long list of everyday tasks. Yeah, it can. Receive and inspect packages, serve drinks, fold clothes, charge your EV, clean the kitchen, water your plants, carry heavy stuff, play games with your family, dance, and even answer your random late-night questions. And that's just the beginning. In Tesla's 2024 demonstration, the second-generation Optimus handled various tasks with confidence and without direct human control. The robot didn't just mimic actions. It understood its environment and responded accordingly. You know, half of the 10,000 now, but, but even 5,000 robots, that, that's, the, that's the size of a Roman legion. FI, which is like a little scary thought, like a whole legion of robots. So I'd be like, whoa. But I think, we'll, I think we will literally build a legion, at least one legion of robots uh, this year. Um, and then pro probably 10 legions next year. In so where will these robots go? According to Elon Musk, Tesla's initial deployment plan isn't just focused on homes. Optimus will play a key role inside Tesla factories, especially the upcoming Cybercab production line at Giga, Texas. The Tesla factory, especially our next-gen Cybercab line, is the product that autonomy and Optimus are what matter. Optimus is expected to replace two to three human workers in certain tasks, bringing consistency, speed, and precision to the production process. 
This isn't theoretical. It's already starting. Tesla is aiming to produce 5,000 Optimus units in 2025, with plans to scale to 50,000 in 2026. That's why Elon Musk said during the Tesla, all hands event. I, I think it's, it'll be able to produce a car ultimately in less than five seconds. Like, can you imagine a car coming off the line in less than five seconds? That's, that's like, whoa. As Tesla moves toward hyper-fast production lines for its minimalist cybercab, with fewer than 80 structural parts, down from over 200 in the Model Y, the presence of intelligent autonomous robots will be critical. Casting, assembly, inspections, and logistics could soon be done faster than any human team could dream of, without compromising quality. Tesla isn't the only one with this idea. Chinese EV maker NIO has already deployed humanoid robots to handle component installation, quality checks, and even visual inspections for scratches or missing parts. But Tesla has something most others don't, a fully integrated vertical production system and a robot powered by the same AI that's driving their self-driving cars. How is Tesla bot Gen 3 smarter than its rivals? If you asked most people a couple of years ago what they thought about humanoid robots, you'd probably get a mix of laughs, skepticism, and sci-fi references. They were too clunky, too expensive, or just plain useless. And honestly, that skepticism wasn't totally off. Most humanoid robots today still struggle to prove they're actually useful in real life. In fact, some of them look so awkward that it's hard not to be a little skeptical. But, over the last two years, things have changed drastically. Tesla's Optimus isn't just another lab experiment. It's becoming a robot that actually learns, adapts, and improves the more it works. This learning approach is what sets Optimus apart from any other humanoid robot on the market. Get to the point where it can watch a video of something like a person and, and then learn just by looking at that video and, and do that task. That quote might sound like science fiction, but it's real. Elon Musk confirmed that Optimus uses AI to learn by observation. Show it a cooking video, and it will try to replicate the steps. Show it how to fold clothes or water plants, and it will practice until it gets it right. This process is not instant. It takes trial and error. So that, you know, because it's uh, probably have a few bugs, but, uh, but it's, it's going to be very cool. You definitely, you'll want to invite your friends over and say, check this out. But the most revolutionary part? It improves on its own. Optimus starts out like a blank slate. When first deployed, it has to be trained, not through code, but through teleoperation. Engineers remotely control the robot while it performs tasks, and Optimus collects detailed data on how each action is done. Then it tries again, and again, until it becomes proficient. For example, something as simple as washing dishes might take a week or more of learning. At first, it might drop plates, misjudge scrubbing pressure, or fail to dry items properly. But, with each attempt, it improves. And that's the power of deep learning in robotics. This approach is inspired directly by how humans learn. We try, fail, and try again until we master a task. And that's why Optimus has so much potential. It doesn't need traditional programming to adapt to new environments or jobs. Tesla bot Optimus is not just a leap in robotics technology. It symbolizes humanity's aspiration to transcend physical and temporal limitations in order to enhance the quality of life. Of course, mistakes will still happen. One potential problem is misunderstanding commands. The robot might not always recognize natural human speech correctly. Imagine you ask it to grab food, and it brings you an empty plate instead. Connectivity issues, mobility challenges like navigating stairs and software bugs are expected. But even those problems are being addressed by Tesla with regular software updates and autonomous self-correction mechanisms. A perfect example? When Optimus dropped a battery cell during a demo, it immediately reorganized the tray without human help. That moment wasn't scripted. It was real-world AI in action. The greatest significance of Optimus lies not in its cutting-edge technology or its ability to operate for 10 hours after just 10 minutes of charging, but in its accessibility. 
So why is the Tesla Bot Optimus the most important product? This is a super big deal. Like my, my prediction is that Optimus will be the biggest product of all time by far. Nothing will even be close. It'll be, it, I think it'll be 10 times bigger than the next biggest product ever made. When Elon says something like this, he's not throwing it out there for clicks. He's dead serious. According to him, the Tesla bot, Optimus, might eventually make Tesla more money than any car ever has. More than the Model 3. More than the Cybertruck. More than the Roadster. All of them. And here's the wild part. This isn't some six-figure sci-fi-looking prototype locked away in a lab somewhere. Number Elon's talking about a humanoid robot that you might actually be able to buy and bring home for about $20,000 and even $10,000. It sounds nuts. But if Tesla pulls this off, it won't just change the tech world. It could completely reshape how we live. Think about it. A robot that looks like a person, walks like one, and does actual useful stuff around the house. Fold laundry. Clean the kitchen. Charge your EV. Play with your kids. Water your plants. Not just once, but for 8 to 10 hours straight. And when it's tired, it just walks over and plugs itself in to recharge. No joke. What do you think about a robot capable of handling multiple tasks continuously for 8 to 10 hours? And you don't even have to worry about charging it because it can recharge itself. Sounds crazy, right? But that's exactly what the Tesla bot offers. And it's not just about home life. Elon wants Optimus to eventually be able to do everything, from helping at home to working in factories, hospitals, and even disaster zones. That's the long game. Of course, building a robot like that and keeping it affordable isn't easy. Most robots like this cost hundreds of thousands of dollars and still walk like drunk toddlers. But Tesla's approach is different. They're taking the same motors, batteries, and electronics they already build for their cars and reusing them in the robot. That's a huge advantage. Tesla already knows how to build things fast, cheap, and at scale. And Optimus is benefiting from that. Even the robot's body design has improved. In Genesis 3, Tesla replaced the old battery with their 4680 battery pack, the same one they use in their electric vehicles. This change made the robot 22 pounds lighter, more balanced, and way more efficient. No more bulky backpack. The battery's tucked neatly into the torso now, making it feel a little less like a robot and a little more like, well, a person. So if Optimus really lands at $10,000 or $20,000 in 2026, would you be first in line? Or would you wait until friends and factories have tested it for a year? Why? Please share your opinion in the comments section below this video. Thanks for watching our video. If you want to explore more exciting information about Tesla EV or Tesla Bot, don't forget to hit the like button and share this video. Also, make sure to subscribe to Tesla Car World and turn on notifications so you never miss our latest videos. We appreciate your support and look forward to seeing you in the next video. Goodbye.